Okay, so now we're in the uh, first test bit. I'm just gonna show you uh, the horizons here. So from basically the grassy area to about uh, this layer right here, or this defining mark, we've got some usable soil. And uh, that's a mixture of some sands, uh, small percentages of clays, and probably some small percentages of silts. As we go further down, we have a, an identified layer here. Now you see these uh, little rust spots that, you, that we get throughout uh, this test pit here and uh, the graying matter. So you see that could be uh, conceived as uh, a clay or uh, a silty clay or a sandy clay. We're not totally sure yet because we have to do some further testing, but you can definitely see that we have in within a short distance, we've got a high water table. Now this rust spot basically signifies that we're starting to hit a high water table and this gray graying uh, on the soil is another uh, signifier that we've got a uh, high water table. As we go down, this uh, seems to be flaking away. It's damp, but it's flaking away. And if we texturize it, it doesn't do a complete ribbon. It breaks at about uh, one inch or so. So we keep going down a little bit further. And we start to see that it's getting a little more damp. And the percentage of clay is getting higher and higher. So as we go down a little bit further, you'll notice that I'm stripping off chunks now. So it's really wet and you're gonna see a lot of this rusting here so it signifies a lot of high water here and being in a floodplain you can certainly see that these soils definitely uh, signifies that it is a high water table in this area so as we go further down you see how it starts to ribbon and really form structure as we're breaking it apart it's very very wet And I'm actually able to form a bowl with it. Now there is some uh, some sands in there still, as when we're doing a ribbon. It's over an inch. So that tells us there's a high percentage of clays here. So as we go further down, we've got more clay and and it's very, very wet. See all that rusting? As we go higher up, again, we're getting more sandy clays or silty clays. We still have to identify it. And as we go up further, we've got a little bit of usable soil, not much. So this tells us that we're gonna need an above grade septic system here, an above grade drain field. So usually that is a sand mound now we just have to see um, the hydraulic loading rate, uh, do some prick tests on this specific area right about here, and let's see what that uh, gives us. So now we're in uh, test pit two, and we're basically establishing some consistency. So you see this line right about here. We're down about uh, 25 to 30 centimeters. The uh, first test bed was about uh, 20 centimeters, so we've got some consistency. And then over here, we've got the same type of soil type. We've got either fine sandy clays or uh, fine sandy silt clays. We've got lots of roots. We go down a little further. I'm not sure if you can see all this, these rust spots. Again, indicative of high water. And you see this soil is gray type. Again, it's indicative of quite the high water here in this area. As we go down further, we're getting a little bit more gray matter. And so the uh, clays become a little bit higher percentage. We, st we still see a lot of this rusting and it's a lot more damp, as you can see. So the further we go down, the more clay we have and the more wet that the soil is.
So here's a small chunk that I took out of the test pit. You'll notice the deep rust spots. So it's quite gray. That's typical of what we're gonna see in the high water areas.